Welcome back to our ant empire. Today we are going to build our ant colony from this small starting point up into a huge empire. Not only that, but we're gonna be facing new enemies. There is a velvet worm that looks rather sinister. And on top of that, something different is going to be happening in the undergrowth. It is going to be continually expanding. And as it expands, we're going to unlock more and more ants to build our empire and conquer our enemies. So the first things first, we need to dig ant tunnels because there's food here and this tunnel right here will lead us to the undergrowth. So it's nighttime, but here you can see the velvet worm. Now this is one of the smaller ones. There's larva, there's different sizes, but a lot of enemies are around the entrances to our nest. We're gonna have to kill them all. God. Daddy long leg spiders, and there is even a rival ant empire to the north. Luckily, we have food inside. We only have seven ants right now. We're gonna need a lot more to increase the speed of our production in order to just make more and more ants. So first, we'll start putting ants around the queen. Now, if you look in the top middle, we have this XP bar, and the more we complete these objectives, the more experience we get from both doing that and through fighting, and that will unlock more ant varieties to use. Leafcutter ants are interesting in that, like you have to make waste tiles where old moldy leaves go, and if other ants touch these tiles, they get sick. But now it's time to go out into the undergrowth and, well, fight our first enemy. So we're gonna disable gather, and we are gonna target one of these. The first ant war has begun. Now they're pretty strong, yes, but we can themselves. outnumber them. Now it gives us access to these leaf resources, and now we're gonna really start cooking with gas. See, look at them dropping off the little, like, leaf poop. Ew. First mission, kill three more creatures around the entrance to the nest. So we'll take them off food duty and rally them next to these guys. The velvet worm is creepy looking. So we got two of them to fight right now. So, I mean, numbers are sort of still in our favor, but it's not going to be as easy as the last time. We'll suffer more casualties, but more leaves are our reward. Now, the other thing we're going to do that I don't normally do is build like an ant would. Like ants dig long tunnels in big chambers. And in the past, I just built one giant chamber. That allows me to upgrade much easier. Because it's sort of like playing Civilization VI. There's adjacency synergy. Which is just a fancy word for saying build close to each other. Our trash heap is growing pretty big. But when you look on the minimap, you're going to notice that there's a lot of creatures in and around our queen. These are all threats that, in theory, could attack us at any time. And they would give us some valuable experience. I don't know what this little red exclamation point is, what bug lurks behind, but we're going to kill it. Hopefully, let's see, how much experience does that one guy get us? We're at 63. 81. Okay, we're gonna have to do a lot more killing. And I think we've found some targets. Because once we do that, we'll be able to unlock soldier ants. Because right now, we're using almost entirely workers. And by almost, I mean exactly almost. Oh, level 4. Minor attack damage has gone up by 1, but that hasn't unlocked any more critters. Probably because we have one more critter near the entrance that needs to be killed. Oh gosh. They have superior health but we have spear numbers. It's like a little Anthermopoly happening right now. We're the Persians though, <laughs> but we know how this one ends. Yeah, see when a worker goes in there to upgrade these things, they cross the fungus, they get poisoned and they work slower and less efficiently. We want to try to avoid that. Where's the last bug protecting the entrance? I think it's the red velvet worm. We're going to go fight it. So as the ants start marching out, look at that. Get ready to fight for your empire. This thing is strong. Oh, and he's got some kind of an icy spray, it seems. It slowed us down. But after winning, accomplished our objective, now we get soldiers. It's time to build a soldier chamber. And we have a decent amount of resources, but these guys cost 80 food just to place one. And technically, they're not soldiers. They're just called medias. Our first soldiers have spawned. Look at how much bigger they are than the rest of the ants. Wait, where, are you going to bite the queen's butt? Oh, you're just, you're just coming over here to hang out. Oh, you're on guard duty. Okay. Now, Medias can also cut down leaves. Oh my gosh. The underworld expanded. Look at the mini map. This is nuts. There is so much going on out there on the map. Oh, this is a giant velvet worm. Okay. We need to go and kill it. We need to rally the troops and position them here and prepare for an all-out attack on this thing. 
This is the new bug and I think it's ultimate form. But we do have quite big ants and quite a lot of them. So let's see if we can't take him on. He just yeah, stunned most, most of my guys. He's got a lot of health. He is very dangerous. I think we can take him. But look at how big these plants are. We're gonna get so much leaf resources. He just killed everybody. Okay, that's terrifying. Now, luckily we can spawn in more ants, but we're gonna have to send in a full second wave. We need to increase the size of our army. He is going well, and every time we increase it, our damage gets stronger. Prepare the next wave. Although with leaf cutters, it's not really like you have soldiers. It's like you have small, medium, large, and huge. They're just different sizes of the same thing. Come on. There he is. Level 8, media 2, plus 2 armor. And we killed him. Now it's time to feast. We've got three more objectives. Grow our colony to 100, unearth all underground creatures, and reveal the full map. Presumably we'll have to kill what? The other ant nests? I love this. Leaf cutters are so cool because you see the ants marching with the resources back and it is beautiful. Oh, there's rival leaf cutter ants over here. All right, everybody back to base. Everybody meet here. They're, they're coming after our resources. I'm gonna have to eliminate, look at this. That is a huge pocket of enemy ants. I'm wondering, do we sit out and fight here? Yeah, we have the numerical advantage or do we just stay underground and wait for them to pass? I'd say we fight. This is a bloody skirmish. Oh my God, okay. Control group one, you are no longer on food gathering duty. You are on full scale attack. Pincer maneuver. <laughs> pincer with ant pincers. 20% attack speed. That's gotta help for a situation like this. I'm gonna have to eliminate this nest and very soon because we are competing for the same resources. So we just got our first option. We can unlock the new majors, the AT-AT of the ant world. You know those big walkers in Star Wars? I'm gonna take the stun. Now we can produce the big boys and we need a nest for these big boys. We're getting a lot of XP from this. They're basically just like charging us. However, they do have tier two and tier three upgrades for their ants. Look at the big boy. He's finally here, you rebel scum. This is a war of attrition. Wait, we might be losing this. Are we losing this? No, we're winning it. We're gonna start marching towards them. I am just shocked at how many ants they can send out. While that's happening, we're sending the resource gathering convoy over here to keep the war machine supplied. I think this is the biggest ant war I've ever seen in this game. But all the while they're feeding me XP, which is upgrades, making us stronger. Oh my God, look at how many bugs there are. All right, it's time to buy another big ATAT. -AT. We've got the food. Oh, we've won. We've won that. It's time to go in. So look at this. There's two, three, and four. These are the other nests. And once we get close, we can unlock them. Now we're inside the enemy nest and here is the queen. Oh my God, she's guarded by some huge ants. This, I mean, at least we can outnumber them, but like there's a lot of them. This is gonna be absolutely brutal. There's my big boys. Is it gonna be enough to overpower them? I think they're out of food. And look, see, this is why you don't wanna have your ants running around in the poop. It kills them. All right, we're killing the queen. Once we eliminate this leaf cutter rival, we are going to be able to dominate the leaf resources. Now, how do we get this? It's underwater. Durable. All incoming damage is reduced? Uh, I like that. All incoming damage being reduced. So, the enemy queen is dead. Oh my, praying manti. Now it's time for prosperity. We're gonna clear out all the bugs that are underground. And I'm talking all of them. It says there's 20 underground. Oh, that's a big spider. Two of them. Albino spiders. While we do this, let's get a third big guy and then start investing in the mediums. I don't know, what, what do you think this is? Is this wise to attack this area? That's probably not the big cluster. These bugs themselves. shouldn't be too much of a threat. Now a few more to discover. Easy. I feel like normally the big ones hide by themselves in these back caverns. Oh, it's just one of these guys, a Starship Troopers bug. They're pretty deadly. What is this? Is it a spider? No. Oh, there's a velvet worm underground. I really wish I could recruit these. Oh my God, that thing is massive. Is that bigger than the one we saw on the top? He like instantly died though. He came out of a cave over here. Now there's only these guys stopping us from conquering everything that's underground. 
It's time to see what's behind door number scary. Oh my god, that is a nightmare. It's just a bunch of spiders. Yes. And they are just chewing through us, man. They are doing the Thermopylae thing. If I can dig out these, we can start to get a surround. Yeah, I don't know how many they've killed, but it has to be a lot. But we're winning the war of attrition. And all the spiders are dead. These guys are stopping expansion. I feel like as we expand, the water must go down here and we get access to those leaf resources. Time to do it. This is gonna be tough. We will suffer casualties, but I think we have enough ants that even with their little artillery strikes, we yes, should be able to win. Himself. All we need to do is take out one and then the rest will crumble fast. There he goes. The first one's dead. The second one's about to drop. This is like fighting giants in Stick War Legacy. They're scary in big numbers, but once the first one falls, now at this point we need to devote everybody to gathering food. I'm gonna work on a new group of the smaller ones. I don't know how good they are at the fighting though. Fight. Oh, I guess we started fighting the uh, army ants. Uh oh, okay, everybody fight. Oh man, army ants are gonna start surrounding us. Oh, they're attacking in waves. Very army ant-like. All right, we've gathered our numbers here. Uh, another ant battle. They just keep crushing us. Okay, these guys mean business. Yeah, we triggered them. Uh, this, is this the end? Everybody retreat. Where are my numbers? Varus, give me back my legions. Oh God, the army ants got into the nest. Uh, I wish we could wall off the place. I don't know how this happened. We just didn't support the reinforcements. Guys, this does not look good. They're just killing us. Jeez, this was an ant massacre. We were doing so well. I cannot believe that. Look at that. Our nest was even designed well, but something happened where we triggered the army ants and they invaded in full force and absolutely decimated us. But we got to fight velvet worms and we got to experience the new adventure mode but if we should try this again and do better learning what we've learned on how to beat the army ants we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching